Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a barcode or a QR code in your core or universal PDF um, using Gravity PDF. I'm just going to open up the MPDF documentation, um, which is the PDF engine we use in Gravity PDF to generate your documents. One of the features um, in MPDF is a custom barcode tab a uh, tag. Uh, it supports a wide variety of barcode types um, that can be used in your document uh, with a, a variety of different settings. Um, down here, are some examples that you can you can copy and paste. Um, each different each barcode has a, a different format. Um, that it accepts for the code, as you can see here, an ISBN has, has three numbers, uh, hyphen, one number, hyphen, more numbers, another hyphen. Um, so if you're going to use Gravity Forms data to include in, in a barcode, um, you'll need to make use of the input mask feature, so you, um, the correct uh, format um, is captured in the form um, and can then be passed to this um, custom barcode tag. Um, you can also generate QR codes um, and that can be found in the in the barcodes example. There's a link at the top here that says see, see the barcodes example um, and we'll, then we'll click through the example file and we'll just do a search for the QR code. And you can see here, here's a, here's a barcode with the QR code. Um, the QR code's much less restrictive than the, than the standard barcodes. Um, and you, can, you can add whatever content you want in there. So um, you can feel free to, to certainly um, uh, not be restricted by, by needing an input mask. So uh, we'll head to our form now. And we're going to add a HTML field. Just add it to the top. Um, we'll call this barcodes. Now, I don't want this particular HTML field to be shown to the user when they're filling out the form. So to prevent that, I'm going to go down to appearance. And under custom CSS class, I'm going to put gf underscore hidden. And that'll prevent the user seeing that field, but we'll still be able to use it in the PDF. We'll go back to general and under content now. I'm going to copy and paste um, some of these examples here. I'll just wrap them in a um, paragraph tag just so they're on their own line. Uh, let's do a 39 barcode. You can see here in the example it um, has information about what what characters are valid when inputting into the code here. Um, so I do recommend, depending on the barcode you're using, have a look up uh, what the format is, what the standard format for those barcodes are, um, so that you can, you can add the appropriate restrictions um, on your input masks. And let's do a code 128A barcode and lastly we'll do a QR code. Copy that over here. Hit update now. Um, so we're going to go to the PDF settings and just ensure the show HTML fields option is enabled under the template section. So on the template here, I'm going to make sure this toggle is on. If it's off, that HTML field won't be shown in the PDF. Um, so just ensure it's on. Hit update and we'll go have a look at the PDF now. Okay. We have three different barcode types here and our QR code. Now I can um, 
use a QR code reader, the barcode reader application. Um, and I can just go ahead and scan that. I'll scan the QR code. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but um, it's scanned up your message here, which is uh, which is what we have um, used uh, in the form. So let's head back now and let's try it with some um, merge tags. So I'm going to delete these first three barcodes because I haven't actually set up the form to to capture input um, using those. So we might do um, an email address and I'm going to select this email address, find out the field ID. And you see in the top right here, it's ID number two. If you're um, using an early version of Gravity Forms, um, the ID would be just above the label here uh, in the in the grab bar. Um, in Gravity Forms 2.5, the latest version, uh, it's up here in the sidebar. Uh, and I'm going to click barcodes now, and under code your message, I'm going to change this to uh, number two, and that's hopefully going to generate a barcode with the uh, email address included. So just refresh now, and we can check that again. We can do a scan, and um, my QR code detector has scanned the email address um, and detected its email. So it's asked me whether I want to send that um, send an email directly to that address um, on my phone, which is which is amazing. So this is comes out of the box in Gravity PDF. Um, it's freely available to utilize. Um, I've got on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, below the video will be links to the specific documentation um, about adding barcodes and QR codes. Um, if you're watching this, Elsewhere, um, click on the video, go to YouTube, have a look at the description, um, and you can you can check it out.